In this video, we're going to look at geometric series. And again, this is just a, uh, what we call a partial sum, which means we're going to look at the terms of a geometric sequence, and we are going to add some number of those terms together. Uh, we have a formula for that. So the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence is given by the first term times 1 minus the common ratio to whatever number of terms you want to add together, power divided by 1 minus the common ratio. Okay, so find the sum of the first five terms of the geometric sequence. So if I go straight to the formula here, I'm trying to add together the first five terms, S of 5. A is the first term, that's 1. I'm going to put this part in parentheses. 1 minus the common ratio. So what am I multiplying by each time? That would be 0.7. And I'm going to take that top part to the n power, so that's going to be to the fifth power, again, because I'm finding the first sum of the first five terms. And on the bottom, it's just 1 minus the common ratio. Okay, so if I simply uh, use a calculator here to evaluate that, that gives me a value of 2.7731. So adding the first five terms of that together would give me that value. Now, because you had the first four terms listed here, you could find the fifth term by multiplying 0.343 by uh, 0.7 and then add all those together. Uh, that wouldn't be too hard to do uh, by hand, but using this formula, I can get there right away. Second one, again, we're looking at a sum here. Uh, we have this written in uh, sigma notation. But notice in here, this is, this is uh, I can pull from this what my value of A is and what my value of R is, right? So uh, A <coughs> would be that first term, and that would be if I plug in 1, what do I get here? So if I plug in 1, I'm going to get 7 times negative two-thirds to the first power, which is going to give me uh, negative 14 thirds. So that is the value of A. That's our first term. And again, I knew that because I have one down here. If I plug in one to K, that's going to give me my first term. Um, this thing inside the parentheses that's being taken to the power, that is R. Uh, I know that um, because if I were to plug in 2 for k, that means I have two multiplications of negative 2 thirds, which means that is my uh, what I'm multiplying by each time. So that is r, a is negative 14 thirds, so then I can use the formula here. And it's going to tell me that the sum of the first five terms, now how do I know that there are five terms here? I start with 1, I end with 5. That tells me how many terms there are. The sum of the first five terms uh, would be... Uh, the first term, negative 14 uh, halves, I'm sorry, negative 14 thirds. Times 1 minus negative 2 thirds to the fifth, divided by 1 minus negative 2 thirds. And the value of that is negative, using a calculator, negative 770 over 243. Okay, so <clears throat> those are what we call finite uh, series, uh, which means that I have a specific number of terms uh, that I want to add together, and my sequence either ends or I'm only adding together a specific number of those terms. We can actually find, if, the, if a sequence is geometric, we can actually find the sum of an infinite series. So an infinite series means that we have uh, a sequence that goes on forever, and I want to add all the terms of that sequence up. And you would think, well, you're never going to get a, a finite sum for an infinite series, right? I'm never going to be able to add up all the values and get some, some number for that. It's going to keep on getting bigger, right? Well, that's not necessarily the case. Um, if our series is geometric, um, we can actually get a finite sum. So I'm going to look at this this uh, form this uh, series here that says uh, starts with one half, and our r value would be one half, right? We keep multiplying by a half, so a half, a fourth, an eighth, a sixteenth. The next would be a thirty-second, and so forth. 
What is the sum of this? So before I get into the formula and how to figure that out, I want to just think about this for a minute. Um, and I'm going to do so with a picture. It's going to help. So if I start with a half, I want to take maybe half, half of this box, right? This would be one half. I start with a half, and then I add a fourth. So what would a fourth of this box be? Well, if I take the remaining half and I divide that into two, I'm going to get a fourth, right? That would be a fourth of the of the whole box. And then I add an eighth. Well, how would I get an eighth? I would take a fourth of the box and divide that into two pieces, and that would be an eighth of the box. And then I add a sixteenth of it, and I, and I add, you know, divide that into two. And then I add a thirty-second, divide that into two, and so forth. And hopefully what you can see here is that I would keep dividing what was left into smaller and smaller and smaller segments of that whole, and I'd keep on doing that, keep on doing that, keep on doing that. So what is the sum of this series that would keep on going forever? I would keep on taking whatever remaining box I have and dividing that into two and, and uh, adding all those together. I would end up with the box, right? The one whole box. So the sum of this is one. I end up with just that one box. I'm not going to get anything bigger than that. Right? I start with half the box, and I add together all those other fractions, and I end up with the whole box. And that's the idea. I can, I can add together an infinite series and get a finite sum. This is just going to be 1. Okay? It goes on forever, but it's never going to go past 1. It's going to be a sum of 1. So you can add together the, the, a, a, an infinite geometric series as long as, this is the key, as long as your r value, the absolute value of your r value, is less than 1. So if it's a geometric series where I am multiplying by like 3 from one term to the next, I'm not going to be able to add those together. If those terms go on forever, I'm going to end up with, a, with an infinite sum as well. It's going to keep on getting bigger. But if my r value is some fraction between 0 and 1, right, or a negative fraction between 0 and negative 1, um, then I'm going to be able to add all those together. And it's a pretty simple formula for this. It's just the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio, as long as, as, long as the common ratio is uh, less than 1. Okay. So I have an infinite geometric series. Uh, I'm going to find the sum of this. My first term of this is 2. And then on the bottom, I'm going to do 1 minus the common ratio. So what am I multiplying by each time to go from 2 to 2 fifths to 2 20 fifths and so forth? I'm multiplying by 1 fifth. And because, you should check this, because 1 fifth is less than 1, then I can use this formula. Um, if my common ratio is bigger than 1, I can't do this. So that's just going to give me 2 divided by 4 fifths, which would be... 2 times 5 fourths, which is going to give us 5 halves, or 2 and a half, which I think you should find interesting here that the very first term of this series is 2, and this thing goes on forever. I keep on adding numbers to it, but if I add all those together, I only get to 2 and a half, and my very first term was, was 2, right? So I had, the rest of those only add up to a half, which is a very interesting use an interesting result um, that I could keep adding those forever and ever and ever and never get past two and a half. Okay, so um, a couple of simple formulas there for adding uh, geometric series together, uh, an infinite one and a finite one, which is a little bit more involved up here.